Wag on people say so what they again with another fresh up day to hope everybody doing good as always. So you open your agenda today, see my return to the internet. Yeah man people also a letter reveal and said the letter where Chrissy wrote to the police uh, when CMR was arrested before to get him freed from lockup. We're going to share that letter there, so make sure you don't stick around. Also, we have Niger boy manager speak up because people are grown and I rob money on behalf of Niger boy. Yeah, man, people. So we're going to show you all of that, so make sure you don't stick around to the end. Forget the full details. And if you're new to the channel, just subscribe. Because I don't know, say so you're going to get the latest. You see me? So after the allegations came out about CMR, the police report, the court hearing, all of them things of people, um, CMR has now returned to the internet. However, on the day that I heard about the whole thing with CMR, there was a post on Pinkwall that CMR grandmother, uh, grandmother had passed away. You see me people, but because of the extent to the allegations that was brought, or that is being brought against him at the current moment, all of that get covered up, you see me people. But now we see CMR followed upon the internet and it's like I'm grandmother candlelight. And based on what I understand, it's like grandmother will grow him, you see me people, and him share it upon him Instagram page. Yeah, people, those are the posts that CMR posted on his Instagram. So he's currently mourning the past of his grandmother. You see me, people, and wants to condolences to him, said way. Still on the same topic, or a similar topic, rather, because um, a letter um, allegedly that Chrissy wrote to the, the police to get CMR out of lockup the first time that he was arrested resurfaced. It was for a different allegation. You see me, people? I'm going to share the letter up on screen now. So this letter was to drop the charges for a no-contact order. And in this one, the stepdaughter was the key witness in this case as well. But Chrissy wrote the letter, making it clear that she's not in danger, or she don't fear for her life, nor her kid's life. You see me, people? And that he's a good father and all of that. And I guess the charges were, were dropped. So persons are saying that, they're wondering if Chrissy is planning to do the same thing as she did in this one. And it's all alleged, people. But that are the letter will come out. You see me, people? And we just are shared so you can see what I go on. You see me? But yeah, leave your thoughts on all of this in the comment section still. You see it? Message mm -hmm. from Blood Clad Chrissy. So from blood clot last week, blood clot Sunday, this a blood clot incident happened. And I'll know you know blood clot come out, come say nothing to no blood clot body. But choose that you take up your nasty blood clot, go and vote and I tell people about your blood clot, have high blood clot, blood pressure. But let me tell you this, Chrissy, the people, them have blood clot way up on you for ear where you say, because when you hear the people, them are say, you know, say your husband is a blood clot pedophile, and you know, say he running a blood clot family because then say father blood clot do it. He like a rat but blood clot brother. Where you see blood clot come out if you go back in a blood clot cave when did dinner. Then say him do the same thing too. Then say him blood clot never do the same thing too. Then say every blood clot man when I family is a family ram. I saw so a whole of them blood clot there. And you sit down in a your blood clot house and watch your whole blood clot media turn upside down. And all blood clot now, you know, come out, come talk to you people. Them use a blood clot opponent. You want to lamp on a blood clot man like in my only blood clot man in my world. Yes, we agree. Say, you are a blood clot husband and wife. And we have a blood clot YouTube video together. But the people, then we blood clot stand with you. Run away blood clot pedophile boy. We are say, you are a blood clot in a bed. Lie down, see him where. You is a blood clot wicked girl. And the people, then still are waiting for your blood clot. For here, where you have a blood clot. Say, Chrissy, you me a blood clot talk. You will have a blood clot wait. For here, where you have a blood clot. Say, see people who have this purple. Like TikToker speaking out and I say, Yo, then basically I wait Christopher come out and speak about the situation. You see me? Um, because Chrissy did make a post say, Oh, she vote. 
You see me? And that she I make reference to. But I guess the reason why she probably not for come out come speak because it's a open investigation. You see me, people? And it's also a sensitive matter. So she will wait until the court rule is justice and whatever may comes, comes. You see me? And then she will follow out and talk about it, maybe. Poss there's a possibility that she not to talk about it any at all. You see me? But yeah. Leave your thoughts on that in the comment section still. Anyways, people, I'm going to show you this video now from Nigeria manager, Dr. Love. And him basically, I expose some people going around implicating um, Nigeria booking team and a collect money on behalf of the booking team and Nigeria. Yeah, man, people, serious, serious, something not going on. I mean, I make him explain it so people out there will plan for book Nigeria. Make sure you go to the proper channel. Yes, me people. So watch this. Somebody out there, um, I did not even know that Jamaica have a have a next era code than eight seven six. I heard about it before, but I never paid attention. So the, 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 the era code is, uh, I think, it's six five eight, and I get to understand that flow use that era code a lot. People are getting numbers in that, and when you see the number, you are thinking that is a US number, or you don't know, think of Jamaica. So people are actually getting these number and use it to scam people so tell her what happened so about a few weeks ago we get an inquiry not a few weeks about probably about three months ago or something like we get an inquiry about our show in in Turks and Caicos um you know people inquire about show all the time we haven't heard nothing more about the show so anyway yeah. yesterday now it brought to my attention where somebody else um booking agents are respond to people you now with the email that inquire about booking Niger boy after inquiring back and sending back email to people responding back to people is that a promoter said that okay well they can book Niger for Kirks and Caicos because there's a show that's already that Niger is already going to Kirks and Caicos so I said no so the booking agents reach out to me and say hey uh, doc um you know anything about a show in a Kirks and Caicos? I said, no. We don't know about a show in a Kirks and Caicos. Right? Niger now, sure. Nobody for the team is booking shows besides the booking agency. Or it would have been me booking shows if it's not the booking agency. So there's a flyers that is created for, um, I think it's called the Rooftop. There's a club, Rooftop Lounge in Kirks and Caicos, where apparently... I don't know what happened or how everything went down. But they have got um send money to somebody. Right? And the person told them that they are the one that's booking for us. And it and they do it so good that it looked like that you were communicating with my booking agency. It's not my booking agency. And let me tell you what these people is. So say for example, say your email is is John Brown Music. What Fresh they do, they drop. put 2J, right? They create all this email, they put 2J, and then the rest of the information is correct. And then now they communicate to you through the email. So if they are sending out in, um, sending out stuff to you, you know, if you know good upon your head, you are going to communicate to them saying, because you think you're talking to my booking agency. And this is how they're good. My booking agency in them, Francis management right which is edgy and Francis they create when I got all the message from the promoter in Kirks and Caicos there is a contract a legitimate contract right they charge six thousand dollars no my artist does not book for six thousand dollars you can't get my artist for six thousand dollars so they have six thousand dollars first and th these are what promoters have to look into these things. It's like they, they give the promoter a price before and then they get they get onto the bargain part and then they said to the promoter, well, we're going to charge you $6,000. The promoter now get excited, went ahead, they even write a contract and send a contract, right? So the promoter get the contract, wire his deposit of $3,000 right three thousand dollars to these people first the promoter is saying that when them when them send sorry guys to me a when them send the money first why the money 
through the Zell account, the money did not go through. It was a woman name. Then they reach out back, send the screenshot of the account and say there's no money that came into the account. Then they give the promoter another information. The promoter then went to the bank and wired the money now into their account. Now, when the promoter received the money, the pro promoter figure say, all right, that's Niger, that's Niger bookings and everything is good. Remember, we don't know what's going on. We don't have nothing to do with it. It's not through my booking agency. When you look on the contract, it's like a contract like where somebody just, just write, but then put it together in a way where it look real. All right, so my, my, my booking agency, Neon Francis Management, then put the address is 30 Francis Drive. And I think it's in Maryland or somewhere they use the address, right? Fresh drive. Everything look legit. Now, so this promoter been promoting, sure. No, we never see the flyers. We never get the flyers. You see what I'm saying? So we couldn't even adjust none of it and say, all right, we see the show and whatever it is. Because as far as we know, we don't have no show in Kirks and Caicos. There's absolutely no shows. And if this never brought to our attention by some of theirs, we would not even know. Then people would be buying tickets, going to the show, and there's no, there's no Niger boy or whatever it is. Anyway, find out everything, get a live scream shot. Reach out to other people, get to understand that there's other people that this person is going around scamming and collecting money. That what me means to the people, I'm tell you, their craft is good. Their craft is so good that you cannot tell if it is a fake or if it is real. Collect the promoter money. Now, this is when the promoter now start to realize there's something funny. The promoter keep asking for a video drop to say that Nige is coming to Kirk and Kirkus. The person tell them say, and this is this is all text message. The person tell them say, yo, um, you soon get the video drop, but true, we are the music video and all of that. Um, we're busy and blah blah blah. Then the promoter asked him for the travel documents. Them say them are send documents about the ticket. They never send the travel. Then that's when the person disappear. The promoter realized there's something wrong until we know Fresh realize all of this when we found out yesterday. So what I'm saying to you guys out there, you guys gotta read things and you guys gotta look into things. You guys out there that want to keep shows or want to get involved in show business, you have to be very, very, very careful. I was talking to somebody this morning and I get to understand that um somebody was trying to book even Sensei at Sending out email and saying that they are Ramish. Right? For book sure um for them send their money to these people so what i'm saying to you guys is only adrian francis <laughs> oh sorry only adrian francis is in canada toronto canada is the only booking agency that have been booking shows from niger from niger boss Text message does. Exactly, that's true. So it's only Adrian Francis is the only person that booking show for Niger. Most time people reach out to me and say, yo, um Dr. Love, like this morning, two person reach out to me and say, Boy, them have um them have a date and um they want for book Niger. What I do when people reach out to me, I give them Adrian Francis number. If it's somebody that I know, I know for years personal, then I say, Alright, you know, this are the price, and then I set up everything, and then I send it over to Adrian. No, you, you, the, the way our contract is structured and the way this contractor, this contract was structured by, by these scammers, it is total different contract. We don't, even, we don't even talk like that. AJ and the right like that. Our contract don't look like that. So if you need to keep a show with Niger boy, you have to go on this page. And when you go on the page, if you click on management, it will be my Instagram come up with my information. If you click on Adrian Francis, it's gonna be Francis Management Information. So yeah, hope this information can help some promoters out there with a plan for book Niger boy. Yeah, make sure no fact check. Make sure say the number wanna get at the right number. Yes, what may I say? Make sure no check in page so no can get the proper um booking details. You see me? Yeah, man. But yeah, that's that for today still. Leave in the thoughts on the, the topics that we cover in the comment section. Big up to everybody who watched the video to the end, said we. Zimmy, yeah, like, share, subscribe. I'm out.